Hi Libra, I'm Pam, the Lucky Mermaid, Psychic Seer and Modern Mystic, bringing you psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides for March 2023. Please be sure to watch your sun sign, your rising sign, and your moon sign to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you in March and perhaps beyond because timing will be different for all of you in these general readings. Remember, sometimes your rising sign and your moon sign will resonate more for you than your sun sign. And if you're born on the cusp of your sign, some months your psychic predictions and messages are coming to you from there. So you might want to check that out. This recording is for Libra Sun, Libra Rising, and Libra Moon. I'm using the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck in this reading. And if you would like to get the Saturn in Pisces Psychic Tarot and Crystal readings, for each sign of the zodiac, which will cover a time period of March 2023 through May 2025, that's over two years, while Saturn's in Pisces, you may want to get these videos. The link is down below in the description box in the show more section, and you can also get them on my website at theluckymermaid.com on the videos page. You just go to that videos page and click on whichever zodiac sign you want and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo on my uh, on-demand videos. So you might want to see you're out of Aquarius now. Saturn's out of Aquarius. It's now in Pisces. You may want to see how it's going to affect your sun sign and your rising sign. I highly recommend if you can get both, that you check them out to get a more clear and complete picture of what's to come for you. So all that being said, Libra, now on to your March 2023 Psychic Tarot reading. And the first card you have is the Four of Cups, and this is ruminating, going within, overanalyzing, pulling at straws, worryment, worrying about the past, pondering some kind of decision that you have to make. There could be some blessing or opportunity that comes to you out of the blue. You may be feeling like you trying to decide how to handle some upcoming situation or problem that you are seeing coming your way. You may also feel like you have to do things differently because some pattern that you normally follow isn't working. You may also be doing pros and cons lists. Like if I do this, then this could happen. But if I make this choice, that could happen. Something that's bothering you now, you may feel better equipped to deal with it in May and, and have the answers and the, uh, yeah, have the answers and have a more clear picture of what to do it may be cloudy for you right now, but May, in the month of May, it could clear it up for you. Some of you could be feeling a little bit um, slighted, like if you feel like somebody passed you over for a promotion, like if at work they didn't promote you, or somebody said something to you that seemed like, uh, like you know, the old uh, gave you a left-handed compliment or somebody said something to you or blew you off in some way. May could feel like a little bit, I mean, I'm sorry, March could feel a little bit like a tiring month for you. It could also feel a little exhausting, like exhausting, tiring. You may feel uh, a little challenged by people around you. This could be coworkers, it could be family members, it could be people in any kind of club, group, or organization that you're involved with, or any board that you sit on, or any committees or boards. You may feel like your talents and skills and knowledge are underappreciated. But I do feel like you get some kind of offer. But the offer may not come right now. Again, I keep feeling drawn to like 
you know, May, the month of May, early May, could be middle May, could be late May. I don't know, but I feel like opportunities uh, come to you. It could be an opportunity that could lead you to decide whether you want to stay or go. So if you're in a committee or a board or a club group or organization you don't like, there could be, or troublesome, there could be um, another organization that would love to have you. And you may be like, hmm, maybe I should leave and go to that. Or it could be a love relationship or a job that you feel this way about. You could find yourself mentally fixated on things right now. Uh, so I'm seeing my guides are showing me a hamster running on a wheel in a cage, like round and round. And you, so you could be really, things could be going round and round in your mind and you could really be fixating on these things in March. The next card you have is 10 of rods. This is moving on to new and better horizons with 10 rods of burden on your shoulder. And those 10 rods of burden could be knowledge and experience you've gained that are going to help you as you move on to the new and better horizons. You could also be feeling a little overburdened in the month of March. You may be challenging yourself. You may be putting burdens on yourself. You may be challenging yourself to do bigger better and greater things. It, you know, maybe you're wanting to pursue something new. And you may feel like I got to challenge myself because I don't want to keep doing these same things over and over again and expecting different results. So you may feel like this way about a job or a love relationship or some other, it doesn't even have to be love relationship. It could be another kind of relationship. And uh, you may feel like, I, I got to get out of it. I got to break this cycle. Some of you could have some opportunity or chance of a new source of income that could be coming your way. Again, I, I feel for some of you, this may be in the offing, like the inklings of it could show up in March, but are you fully getting it in March? For some of you, it's a little later. Some of you may feel like you're drawn to a new career or to a new job or to a new business. Some of you may have a property that you're dealing with that you may are considering. It could be personal property or a home uh, that you may feel like you want to fix it up and sell it. You could also just wanting to be uh, wanting to upgrade or fix the property you're in. Maybe you don't want to sell it. You may just feel like, it's time to refresh it, refurbish it, fix it up. You may also feel challenged in some way that um, you may have built something up. This is a hard thing to explain. That you feel like you can't do anything with it anymore. It's not good where you are, so you need to move it elsewhere. So this could be like you build up finances in a retirement fund or some kind of uh, account, or it could be, you know, you have the nicest house in the neighborhood and it's not helping you. The value of your property is being brought down, even though your place is the nicest, the other places are kind of falling apart. So this value uh, you've built up in something is not paying off for you in the way that it is. So it may be better to sell it and move. This could also be, like I said, in your finances, you may have built up money or finances in some area, in some uh, account or some fund or something. And now other things are You've built it up, but other things around it are bringing it down, so you may need to move it. You have to think about one. That one was a hard thing to explain there at the end. I hope you understood what I'm driving at. So here, the next card in your reading is the Two of Cups, and this is 
fate destined meant to be preordained uh, soulmate twin flame uh, love connection very often it, this is a card that symbolizes love but you can also be a soulmate with uh, you know one of your kids or your best friend could even be a soulmate to you some of you Libra, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign, there could be a, a, a proposal, an engagement of marriage. You could be figuring out where you're going to move or planning to move in together with somebody. Some of you that are already coupled are putting your heads together with your partner and you're figuring out how to make something, how to improve something or make something better in your life. Sorry, my hair is getting in my eye and bugging me. Um, so you, you and your partner, if you're already coupled, could be trying to uh, figure out ways to improve your living conditions or your, your home or your finances or something. You could have a recommitment of your love with each other. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh, uh, what is that called? Um, you know, redoing your vows, like recommitting to each other with your vows. Another sign got that this month. You're not the first sign that got it. I don't remember which one because I, I do two a day usually uh, because it, it's too much to read anymore for me with the public. I can't uh, do like four signs in a day. I usually do two signs in a day. So I can't tell you what other sign got that, but there was another sign that did get it. You may feel like you're joined together at the hip with somebody and making some kind of pact. Now this could be, uh, maybe you're going to start a business together or it could be some other thing that you and somebody that's near and dear to your heart that you are on the same page on board both are making some kind of commitment to each other maybe you're already married but this could be a commitment about something else you may also feel that you have more energy and you may need to do more things for your partner maybe they're not well, or maybe they're struggling in some way, or they need help either physically or with their business, if they own a business or in some way. And you may be like, well, I've got the time, I've got more energy, I'm going to step in and I'm going to help. That could also be coming to you. Your partner, if you're already coupled, could be feeling that way and coming out of going out of their way to help you. If you're in a relationship and you're not serious, you're not married or uh, engaged, you may be in a relationship. You're deciding to move it along to the next phase, like step up, step it up with the relationship also comes up here. Here you have the five of rods, and this is an internal struggle going on in you. It could be a struggle with coworkers, family members, or any clubs, groups, or organizations you belong to. Sagittarius also got this card. You could see people in your family not getting along. There could be some squabbling among people. If it's not your family, it could be in some social group or work. If there's any estates that need to be settled or like... Because I hear some people saying, you're not going to take that. That's mine. Uh, it could even be at work, like if somebody's trying to steal somebody's job. Um, so, uh, or you could be fighting with neighbors. Because I get squabbling going on and somebody saying, you're not going to take that. That's mine. This can also represent, even if there's not fighting going on, there could be discontent and people not feeling settled by things that are going on either around your neighborhood, in your community, in your city, state, town, province, or country. Uh, but it could also be applying to family. 
you know, I keep getting this, like, it could be a very local thing. It could even be on your property where you want to put up a fence. You don't want people letting their dogs crap all over your yard or like, you know, kids, neighborhood kids acting like your yard is their property. And, you know, it's, it's, you don't want to be like an old curmudgeon and say, you know, get off my property. But if somebody gets hurt on your property, that you could be liable for that. So you do have to be careful about people abusing boundaries and things like that. You could have a, like a big churning going on inside of yourself where you may be very uh, much struggling with whether to stay in a relationship or in a job or in a home, or in a neighborhood, or in a place, or whether to go. You could be having internal struggles uh, about something. Because you could have a lot of anxiety about something where, where things just aren't sitting right with you. For some of you, this could be at your job. You could feel like something isn't fair. You could feel like you're getting things imposed on you, like more work than, you know, your coworkers that have the same job description as you. Uh, you could feel like you're getting manipulated or taken advantage of if it's not at work uh, by coworkers or bosses doing that to you. This could be happening uh, in, in a family situation where you feel like things aren't balanced, where you're having to do carry more of the burden and the load and that things aren't getting shared fa fairly. So the last card you have in your reading is the King of Rods. This is a fire sign person, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That could be their sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. It could be you if you have a rising sign or a moon sign that's a fire sign. You know, for some of you, this card, the internal turmoil could also be going on with this fire sign person. You could f have some, some light could be shed on some things going on with the King of Rods. So some things you didn't know before, some information, could be secrets, could be health concerns, could be other things going on with the King of Rods that you were unaware of. There could be some light shed on it now for you. And now you know in March or maybe April some things that are going on with them. And that could be going on with a fire sign person mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or physically. You may feel like the King of Rods is wasting time. You may feel like they are doing things that they really shouldn't be doing. They may look at you like you don't really understand something that's going on with them. Um, you, you may feel like you're there. You could feel like you're getting on their nerves, but they may feel like you don't understand something that they're going through or what's going on inside of them. You may feel like they're up to their old tricks. You may feel like there's something they should be doing more, like they're not doing enough or they should be doing more. You may feel like they're not looking after themselves enough. You may feel like they need to take better care of themselves. You know, they may look at you like normally you're a person that stands by them and is a good, gives them a good shoulder to cry on and all of that or somebody to lean on, or somebody that's uh, kind of like there for them. But they may not feel that way about you in March because you may be, for lack of a better word, kind of uh, disapproving of them. They could be really trying to hide some things or keep things to themselves in the month of March. So the best gemstone crystal I got for Libras to work with, use, and wear in the month of March of 2023 is Chalcedony. 
I'm going to spell it because people always ask me to spell it. C-H-A-L-C-E-D-O-N-Y. And even though it's C-H, it's not pronounced ch. It's calcedony. It's a nurturing stone. It promotes brotherhood and goodwill. Chalcedony absorbs negative energy and it also brings mind, body, emotions, and spirit into harmony. It instills feelings of benevolence and generosity. It's going to be a stone that's going to help you build more confidence, feel more um, self-assurance, self-confidence, have higher self-esteem if you wear this stone or work with it by meditating with it on your third eye chakra, your throat chakra, or your heart chakra when you're resting or meditating. It's a stone that's going to make you feel like you have uh, a better balance, like you're, it's going to balance your chakras and, and make you feel more uh, spiritual. It's also going to be a good gemstone for you to help motivate you to be helpful to others. It's also going to help bring stillness to you and help quiet and calm your mind. So I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And please like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell when you do subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. And if you would like to get any of the special video series I record for my Vimeo On Demand videos, you can access the most recently recorded videos by clicking on the link down below in the description box in the show more section. And you can also access these links by going to my website, theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos page. You can scroll down and read all the different video series I've recorded, what divination tools I've used, how long the predictions go out for, and you just click under that video series that you want, any zodiac sign you want, and that link will take you to that video on Vimeo. I'm going to name some of my most recently recorded videos. My first one is Saturn in Pisces, Psychic Tarot and Crystal Readings. These predictions go from March of 2023 through May of 2025. Saturn spends two and a half, three years in each sign. It depends. It's different for every sign. That's the time period for those predictions. So you may want to see how Saturn and Pisces will affect you. I highly recommend getting your rising sign and your sun sign in that video series. My big love readings for 2023 for singles and couples are available they're chock full of information. The first half of the reading focuses on the single people of your zodiac sign. And the second half of the reading focuses on the coupled people of your sign. I highly recommend watching the entire video because there will be some crossover that the messages will apply to you in either side of the video. The next video series that's fairly new is my New Year 2023 Psychic Tarot readings for each sign of the Zodiac. If you haven't checked them out yet, there's 16 cards in total, and it covers a wide variety of topics in that video, in those videos. As I said, 16 cards, there's a lot to cover there. Also, my Psychic Crystal readings for 2023. Let me tell you, I've had great feedback from those readings. People have asked me in the past, would I ever do psychic crystal readings for the year? I never did that before because I always did the tarot readings. These crystal readings I thought were awesome. I hope you check them out. Also, don't forget, you're still being affected by the eclipses that happened in October of 2022 and November of 2022. Those eclipses last for six months, but in those video series I recorded, those predictions went out even past that, and 
some astrologers do say sometimes the effects can last for a year. So you might want to get my eclipse effects from the solar eclipse in Scorpio, October 25th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. And you could get my full moon lunar eclipse in Taurus, November 8th, 2022, psychic tarot, crystal, and oracle card readings. Those predictions and messages are still in effect and you are still being affected by them. I think those predictions went all the way out until June of 2023. So you might want to check them out. Also, don't forget my psychic crystal readings for the month of March 2023 that I do an expansion of the readings I do here. I give a lot of various predictions and messages covering a wide range of topics. You may really want to check your psychic crystal readings out for March. Uh, also, my horseshoe tarot spread, seven card spread tarot readings are available. And lots of people like that series. Whenever I post the horseshoe tarot spreads, people snap them up. They love those predictions. There's a lot of messages and predictions there in those seven cards. If you would like to help support the work I do here and the readings I do on YouTube, there's a donation link down below in the description box. It's connected to PayPal. Thank you so much to those of you who have been so kind and generous and donated to my channel. It does help me a lot and it does mean a lot to me. So thank you so much for your kind donations. Also, if you would like to get more psychic predictions and messages from my spirit guides channeled through me that you're not going to see here on a video on YouTube. You can follow me on my social media pages at the Lucky Mermaid LLC on Facebook and the Lucky Mermaid underscore Pam Georgell on Instagram. I use tarot cards, oracle cards, occasionally the crystal, and I write five paragraphs of predictions and messages. Many people find they resonate with them. You may find parts of it or all of it resonate with you. I would absolutely love to see you on my social media pages. So please be sure to check them out. So I hope you have an absolutely marvelous March of 2023 to all the signs of the Zodiac out there and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.